Hello, this is Hannah with Hannah Crafted Gifts, and I have a couple unboxing today. I was about to say that I'm really excited about it. I always say that. But I've been away on vacation, so don't feel too badly for me. Um, but I have been anxious to get home and to see what's been waiting for me, because these things have been here for like a week or two. Okay, you can see my box was a little scrunched, but it looks like everything inside is okay. Okay, so we're going to come back to this, because this is the thing I really want to show you. Um, this is the only thing you haven't seen in previous unboxings of mine. This is... I think the best of the current kit collection. Um, my favorite favorite was the uh, postcard one. What was that called? Oh, no, I can't remember. Postal, Precious Parcel, that's what it was, I think. Um, but that's only a $12 kit, no stamping. This Sentimental Rose Card Kit um, is $19. That's because it includes a stamp set, an ink spot, a block, everything you need to full on make a card. So I'm gonna open that up for you in a second, but I also just wanted to show you I got another of the June Expressions in Color Paper Pumpkin Kit. That is actually going to go to a friend of mine who didn't get to order hers like she had hoped. And then this is another one of May 2021's Batter Up Kits. So again, I have a friend um, who I think might like that. So uh, we'll see. But I got each of those again, and you've seen those in my previous unboxings. Um, so like I said, you can check those out if you want to see those paper pumpkins. Um, we just got the preview, sorry, I'm gonna cut this open. I'm back to doing this one-handed because I'm not home. I don't know if you can tell if you watch me a lot. This is a different table. This is my mom's dining room table. <laughs> so it is my childhood table, but anyway, uh, I don't have my contraption set up like I do at home to use both hands. So this is the first time I've been back to one-handed for a while. I gotta say, I haven't missed it. <laughs> I'm sure you haven't either. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, but yeah, we just got the sneak peek late yesterday for the next paper pumpkin kit, which will be August 2021, and it's an extra special one. I say that a lot, but they've been really up in their game this year. Um, it's a collaboration with co-founder of Stampin' Up! Shelly Gardner. And so it's called Hope Box, and um, there's a lot to like, so keep watching for more about that. Okay, so this is a past paper pumpkin, the Sentimental Rose. And here you can see the stamp set. It says, Happy Mother's Day, Best Wishes. Um, let's see. For you, thank you thinking of you, happy birthday, and congratulations. A lot of great sentiments, so very versatile. Um, this one down here at the bottom, you can see is just a little splotch of spots. I'm trying to look at that myself. Okay, now you can see it again. And you have this beautiful, I think distinctive rose stamp. Again, distinctive stamps mean they have some variation in them, so you can already see like there's the clear, so you're just gonna get the outline there. There's the gray, and then you're gonna get the black. So even if you just stamp it in one color, you get some great dimension, variety. Or variation and same with these leaves so beautiful stamp set I was really excited about the ink spot for this kit I never got this kit when it came out a couple years ago um, and I don't have gray granite ink so now I have the ink spot for that which is great so I throw it <laughs> like I said these um, $19 stamping kits will come with the stamp set the ink spot and they will always come with a block so unlike paper pumpkin sorry I'm trying to get into this package here um, unlike paper pumpkin, which only come with a block the first time you buy a kit, because then you're just meant to reuse it for any following kits on that same um, subscriber account, when you buy these kit collection kits, every stamping kit will come with a block, regardless of how many you've bought in the past. So that's great. So let's see, I've talked about it enough. Here it is. It's the same as the paper pumpkin blocks, except it says Stampin' Up. Maybe you can see that right there but same um, kind of thinner D block, which is great for traveling um, or sending to a friend if they need one like your demonstrator and you want to get a newbie started. You can send those thinner blocks a lot easier. All right, so here is the instructions for the kit. And you can see beautiful, beautiful kit. Again, some extra special things about this one. It makes nine cards, um, which I would say is the higher end of average. Sometimes it's eight where it's two each or sorry, for each of two projects. This is three each of three projects. And this one comes with this acrylic um, box to hold your cards and you can make a belly band to go around it. So it would be a great like gift of stationery or greeting cards for someone. Um, and I just really like kind of the soft watercolor washes and great colors in this kit. Let's see what those coordinating colors are. There's a picture of all the contents. Um, coordinating colors are basic black, Calypso coral, Flirty Flamingo, Gray Granite, which we knew from the ink spot, Mint Macaron, and So Saffron. So a good balance. Um, I always like when um, at least like th 
three of the colors of the rainbow are used, like either the primary colors um, of, you know, a bluish, a yellowish, a reddish, and this kit has that, and then some good neutral balance. So let's get the chipboard out of the way. Let's see all the, all the goodies. So in here, it looks like you have your basic white um, twine, or sorry, I just totally covered the camera. Like I said, I'm not used to the one-handed thing anymore. Um, not twine, maybe baker's twine, um, but just that really thin thread. And then you've got some great, I'm looking at these myself. It looks like they're not matte, they're glossy uh, acrylic dots. So I'm guessing that's the Calypso Coral. And then you have more of the Mint Macaron. Lovely. And then of course your full size dimensionals. Here we've got, oh, see I love these the watercolor. We've got three of these card fronts to go on your card base. I love like the little splotching. Again, you have a stamp that can do that too. Um, and of course, when you go to look at kit collection kits, this one may not be there anymore. They're going to be continually adding more. Um, so if you do like this one, go try to find it, or if not, get a similar one. And you can um, do similar uh, card styles with just a different theme, perhaps. So three more of these card fronts with the actual rose, or it almost looks like a poppy with that center. Maybe it's a rose and poppies. I don't know. I don't know my flowers very well. I'm hoping to get into gardening next summer. That's one of my goals. <laughs> We're trying to buy a house, and so I might finally be able to have a garden. Very excited. Okay, so these you won't be able to feel, obviously, but these are corrugated, um, white corrugated pieces as background. Oh, and I picked up, so three of those again. I picked up one of these back to the watercolor washes. See how that just has a good balance of, like, that bluish green, the yellow, and then the reddish or pink. Love that. All right, we've got uh, envelopes. Oh, good, and so with the three different styles of card, you have three different styles of envelope. So this one has the um, So Saffron kind of um, striped dots. And then this is the Calypso Coral. Kind of a herringbone stripe. And then this, I'm gonna guess, is the Mint Macaron. And it's words, so it says things like, with delight over the blooming flower of youth. So it's kind of garden themed words. Love that. All right. Now the card bases. So we've got three, again, of these striped dots. This time they're in that gray granite, it looks like. Um, and these look like they might be note card size. I'll have to check back on the instructions and see more of those corrugated pieces. Not sure how exactly we use those. Probably just for added texture layers on the cards. Three of these, again, the words um, in Gray granite again. So of flowers, so much has been said. Love of flowers is not shared exclusively by the poet. Lovely. More corrugated labels. So hopefully you can see there's a rectangle label. And then this one over here is a pendant on one side. Maybe you can see better on the back. Pendant on the right, rectangle on the left. All right, three more card bases. Sorry, this is a bit out of order. I'm doing it with you for the first time, obviously. All right, so the So Saffron, again, with that herringbone. And you can see everything's a little distressed. It's not solid and flat, um, which gives a great dimension, again, like those distinctive stamps. Here's a die-cut flower and leaves, just like the stamps you have. I'm guessing there's more of those in here somewhere. Um, I must have, they must have been caught up with something else. Oh, you know what? That's probably for your belly band. That's why you only get one. And that's what some of that corrugation is for, I'm sure. Okay, that makes sense. Because here is that acrylic box you put the belly band around. I love this. I wish they did this with more kits. Because um, these really do make great gifts. And then look at these labels. I love it with the Calypso Coral, the So Saffron, and the Mint Macaron. All different shapes, kind of ornate. I love that. Two little tags. That might be for the belly band or whatever you want to use it for. Oh, and then glue dots. Okay. So let me just check back real quick and see if it says the size of these cards. Because again, I do think they might be note card size. Not sure if it's going to tell me. Here's the instructions. Uh, it might stay on here somewhere, and I'm just not seeing it because, of course, I'm on camera. But I do think they look like the note card size, which I am fine with. Again, great for gift giving. All right, so that is this unboxing. More to come because, like I said, I was away on vacation. I got a few things, so keep watching to see more of the new july to december or what turned into august to december mini catalog and celebration our biannual sale for the first time ever this year um 
Please like this video, comment, and I will respond. And the best thing you can do to support me is subscribe. I really appreciate all your support. And as always, happy crafting. Bye.